Okay. It's dirty. Okay, guys. Uh, we're going to be making some silly pudding. I already have some made here, but I'm going to show you guys how to make one. What you would need, um, armor's gloom. You need one tablespoon, just a tablespoon, a uh, fork to, mi to mix it with, and you need borax. That's the main thing that you need for this, for it to work, borax. So you'll get your gloom and your tablespoon, and you'll open the glue, of course, and then you get two tablespoons of glue. So this is one. And this will be two tablespoons. Finish your lab report now! When you have two tablespoons of glue, get two tablespoons of water so it could be equal amount. So I'm gonna get some water here. That's one. And two tablespoons of water. And now when you have two tablespoons of water and glue, you can mix it and then when you finish mixing you can put your dye. I'm gonna be using orange. Actually purple. I like purple. So just first mix the glue and water correctly together. And when you kinda get enough Make sure and just pour in your dye. And this one doesn't have any dye. Actually, just a little bit purple. Oh my gosh, this is torture. Get out. Go do your work, Brandon. Okay. You're getting no break. Now, let's try to get that. And I'm going to be, you're going to, he's going to hear me in that video. Okay. And just mix it together. And you'll get your purple color. And try to make sure that you don't see any like white particles of blue. So just mix it really good. And just keep mixing it until you just see purple. Or until you see your food dye that you want. And yeah, so I don't see any more white in my solution. So now get your borax. It kind of doesn't matter how much you need, just enough borax for your water solution. So you get some borax put into a container and then get water. Just enough water for you or what you need. I'm gonna wash this off just to because I don't want to make the glue over the part. All right, and then just stir it so that the water and borax could just mix together good. Just delete all the other stuff. And then when you have it ready. Just get the water, not the borax that's in the bottom. Just get the water and just pour it in and start mixing it. And it would start to make the compound that will be the silly putty. And just keep mixing it until you think it's enough. Then add more of the borax solution and then keep mixing it again. And then you would see that it would just get mostly finished and then you kind of see that there's just a little bit more liquid inside it's kind of rough but there's kind of a little bit more liquid in the bottom so we just get a little bit of borax just a little bit and pour it in and make sure it's kind of all rough and well all of the solid and there will still be some liquid in it so you'll need to get the paper, and I'll be back to get the paper, guys. Any, mostly any type of paper that would dry it. So just finish mixing it, and then get your silly putty that you made. 
and put it into a piece of paper to dry to try to dry it off. Most of the silly putty might get stuck on the paper, but it's okay because you have more silly putty. So then just try massaging it and try to get all the liquid off of it. And just try to dry it as much as possible. Yeah. So it would start sticking to your paper or whatever you want it to dry it with. And it will start building up together to itself. And yeah. So you can see here. Ah, if I could grab all of these, my hands weren't that slippery. It kind of started to dry by itself now. And then just massage in your hands so it can become more soft. And by time it will start to dry. Your hands will start to dry because at first your heart, your hands will be wet. So when it starts drying, it will start to just build up together. And you'll have your homemade silly putty, guys. And all the background noise is because I am at my school making this video. So, yeah. And, yeah, that's pretty much how you make silly putty. It's really fun to play with. It's good for, like, just to play around. It might break pretty easy. You just don't pull it as hard then. Because you just squeeze it, it just rips easy. And I know you guys don't like that. So yeah, just use it like this. Just press your thumb in it, just to like make it sit together, but not too hard, just soft enough. And it will become good. And I kind of got some paper in here, mostly because I forgot to get toilet. I'm like, just paper dry it. See, here's a lot of liquid that was on this. And now you got your silly putty. And then you get your baggie and just put it in, like I've done to this one, and you'll keep it. Yeah. So that's how you make salute, you guys. Thanks for watching.